Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a product that has failed pretty drastically and the failure is due to it being printed into oblivion. I know a lot of stores that purchased a ton of these expecting something like Commander's Arsenal. Commander's Arsenal came out and then right away it spiked in price. 50 to 75% price spike overnight. And so a lot of people, a lot of store owners were expecting this product to also go up from MSRP. But as you can see today, there's a mass drop. So if you want, you're watching the video today, you can go online, you can buy this for $85. And that is pretty crazy because the MSRP on a product is $150. It's $85 with free shipping. So the store or mass drop is only really selling it for let's say $75 because of the shipping and the tracking and the weird size of the box. It's a half of MSRP is what stores and retailers are currently getting for this set. This set has zero potential to go up in price. It has zero hold value. The only value is if you want to play Plane Chase and they mass produced it. I mean, it was... Imagine game stores being super hyped. Okay, cool. This is like a specialty set from the vault type of set. And we're going to make a lot of money, so I'm going to order as many as I can. And then to find out, the product can't even sell for half of MSRP. Because the demand is not there, and then the supply is way too high. And this is one of the major problems in 2016. When you look at boxes, RTR is still $80 a box. Uh, the Journey to Nyx is like $70 a box. Dragon Maze is... $65 a box online. These boxes just have no hold value. From RTR and beyond, they printed so much of this product given the demand, the demand not being enough to eat the product up. It's ridiculous. Like Caladas, uh, A for Revolt, those are in two years, those boxes will be $70, $80, no problem. It's kind of scary to consider why they are doing so is it for profit is it it's mainly for profit is it for something else is it to promote standard why are they printing so much stuff and you might say oh that's that's good the prices have gone down no my card single price card is down i can now afford a magic anthology for half off it is good but don't make the MSRP of this $150. Make it $75. Allow these stores to make money from it. Allow these stores to sell it. Allow more people to have it. Because it's going to end up at $75 anyway. Just start at $75 and be honest about what your product is worth. Don't flood the market at $150 and then continue to flood the market. Now, one of the, my biggest pet peeves about uh, Magic the Gathering is the how much product they push on you. And they're pushing standard very hard. They're getting rid of modern. Modern is, I'll make a separate video. Modern modern's pretty dead. Like I'm not even gonna lie about it. I love modern, but I've seen Legacy die and I was one of the people saying, oh, Legacy is gonna die because there won't be tournaments for it. There won't be promotion of it. So therefore it will die. And the modern is on the same track. And I don't have any hope I don't, there's no hope to save modern. Wizard of the Coast is not going to wake up overnight and say, okay, we made a mistake. We're going to promote modern now. That's not what they want to do. They want to sell as much product as possible for as expensive. That's why the, remember Modern Masters came out and the retail was $6.99 at Booster Pack? Well, those Booster Packs didn't become more expensive, but their retail, $9.99, did. Where did that $3 come from? I mean, the $6.99 Booster Pack had that premium foil, which cost like an extra 15 cents to make. But where where's all this extra value coming from? There's no need to make it this expensive and there was no need to make this $150 MSRP. You could have made it $80. It would have sold better. And you want to get, have this weird scenario where it's half off now. Like it's literally half off. Uh, so in my opinion, if you are going to make more products, Wizards, you make them cheaper. Make them available to the players. No one's going to pay $150 for this. And if they paid $150 for this, it feels bad. It feels real bad. So leave me a comment below. Do you guys think I'm being too harsh? Or do you feel like this is a reality that we currently live in where 
we just get product after product after product and a lot of them flop anyway bye guys